Hello, N4HNH here. Uh, for you who may be shopping for a radio and you happen to um, be a CW operator, um, I want to show you a little something just to help you maybe with a purchase decision. This is the FTDX 5000 and it comes with a 600 hertz roofing filter for CW as well as a 300. So I'm going to just turn the volume up a little bit and let you hear the difference course there's 3k there's a station in there you can probably hear him I already worked him he's a QRP station in Colorado 600 Hertz 300 Hertz now you can go over to the DSP unit on these newer radios that's not him that's somebody going back to him. and um, Engage your filter here, which on the FTDX 5000, the DSP filter is right here. I'm going to engage it. There's 500 hertz against the 300 hertz roofing filter. Okay, I'm going to press my roofing filter button here straight in, and it'll default to 600 so that it can accommodate the 500 hertz digital filter width. Okay, now if as I go down. See, what, what's the uh, display here? 600. When I hit 300, it moves it over automatically to the 300 hertz roofing filter. Which, if you're new to the hobby, the roofing filters are physical filters, uh, component-based. Whereas the DSP, of course, is being done in a chip. But you see it toggling back and forth between the 300 and the 600. Now... I'm going to narrow it all the way down to 50, which is the tightest you can go, and you wouldn't really want to go any tighter than that. Okay, can you hear him in there? I'm going to widen it to 100. Now, I'm going to move back to the 600 hertz filter. You notice you really can't tell any difference. Because once you go digital, once you get over here into the DSP world to um, um, narrow the filter width, you know, the crystal filter, you can see there is less important. Now, you wouldn't want to run at 3K because uh, you are still dumping more into the DSP unit. So you do it a favor when you give it less to deal with and on other radios with different DSP algorithms you may really want to go ahead and go down to the 300 this particular radio has just some kind of a boss DSP in it and I can throw all the noise I want to at it and it it seems to uh, function just fine but just so you see there's the difference in 600 and 300 and the reason I'm bringing this up if you're looking at the Yaesu FTDX 101D it does not come with a 300 hertz roofing filter. It comes with a 600. Now, you can order it with a 300 hertz roofing filter, but you do have to pay extra and you have to let Yesu put it in. It's not something you can retrofit later yourself. The FTDX 101 MP, however, the 200 watt version, comes with also, also comes with the 300 hertz roofing filter as well as the 600. But I wanted you to see that, you know, this radio came with the 300 and the 600. And when you get over into the DSP realm, there's not a lot of difference between the 600 and the 300 anyway. Now, if I turn off DSP, you can definitely hear the difference. So I just wanted you to be aware of that and when you're making a purchase decision, if you're trying to figure out, do I really need to pay the extra to ha and have my radio custom made to get that 300 hertz uh, roofing filter? It is a little bit unusual, by the way. In the past, you've been able to buy the radios and later, you know, you could spend the $300, get the roofing filter, pop the cover, put it in yourself. But in the case of the FTDX 101 uh, series, you have to order up front how you want it configured. Now, um, the MP, I believe, comes with a 300 in both the VFO A and B. 
I could be wrong on that, but I believe that's what I saw the last time I was looking at its specs. But there you go. That's the difference in 600 and 300 if you're not using DSP. Now, let me see if he's still in there. Because I was going to show you something that's unique to this radio. Well, uh, in other Yaesu radios have this. Audio peak filter. Which does the narrowing a little bit different. It's doing it in the audio spectrum rather than in the RF spectrum. And he's not sending anymore, but listen to the noise. I mean, it takes it down to basically you're hearing what you're hearing is ripple. You're hearing the effect that the signal's having on the skirts of that tight filter. Take it back down to 50. So there's no audio peak filter, audio peak filter, and then. This radio allows me to use contour with CW as well, which is a really cool uh, feature on the AC radios. And I've already shot a video about that. You can use it on sideband or CW. But I just wanted you to see if you're trying to make that purchase decision about, mm, do I really need to spend the extra for the 300? With good DSP, and I, you know, I happen to believe uh, that Yesu has the best DSP. I was telling a friend the other day, sometimes Yesu does some boneheaded things. So it's one of those things where I'm not exact. I don't like to like Yesu, but they just seem to do the best job on the receivers and, and particularly on the DSP side. But um, they have made some boneheaded decisions as far as they just can't seem to keep a good radio on the market like some of the other uh, manufacturers can. I was hoping he might send again and I could... Let me see if I find somebody else. Oh, here we go. Okay, let's get him to send again and I'll show you what the... Uh... So we're already... We're already tight. Now there's no... There's nothing but the roofing filter. There's the 600. 300, see it's quiet, quieted down a little bit. Now the 50 hertz filter. I'll wait till it sends again. And audio peak filter. You hear how it lifted up the audio level? Let me turn it off. On again. There we go, on off on so what that's doing is focusing on the 600 hertz that i have my side tone set to and it's looking for a 600 hertz signal and by the way it it moves in 10 hertz increments so it's really narrow and um i mean really tight so it's zero zeroing down to get just that 600 hertz plus or minus, you know, 10 or 20 hertz. Um, you know, and the, and the reason I say that, not to confuse you, it moves in 10 hertz increments, but it's not a brick wall. There'll still be a little bit of bleed through. So you might, with the APF filter, you might be able to block somebody though that's, you know, 30, 40 hertz away or knock them way down. So turning off the audio peak filter and turning off the tighter width. So now we're just relying on the 300 hertz crystal filter. And then there's 600. So pretend you buy, buy the FTDX101D and you've only got the 600 hertz crystal filter. That's what you would hear. And then you would go over here to the DSP. I mean, listen to that. That's just 100 hertz. I can go down to 50. And then... APF. Let me turn it off again. Audio peak filter. Just a phenomenal 
weapon in the arsenal of these uh, Yesu radios when it comes to working CW. So if you're not into CW, you probably didn't enjoy this, but maybe later on you might get into it and uh, just wanted you to know what's available to you in these radios for CW operation. Okay, so hopefully, hopefully that'll help you with a purchase decision. And um, thank you for watching the video. Thank you, Patreons, for helping me keep the channel going. And if you'd like to become a Patreon for uh, the N4HNH radio channel here, uh, please, uh, please do go to www.patreon.com slash N4HNH. And I sure do appreciate uh, every little bit helps, you know. Um, and of course, please like the video, subscribe, click the bell. Uh, all of those things help our channel out here. All right, thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll say 73 from N4 H&H.